This is Seven National News and in our top story, in his capacity as the ruler of Dubai, the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has issued a decision setting up the Board of Directors of the Dubai Healthcare City Authority. The decision named Her Royal Highness Princess Haya bint Al Hussein as Chairperson of the Board, with Raja Issa Sali Al Gurg as Deputy Chairperson. As per the decision, the Board will have a term of three years subject to renewal. The law is effective from its date of issuance and will be published in the official gazette. The chairperson of the Dubai Healthcare City Authority, Her Royal Highness Princess Haya bint Al Hussein, outlined the priorities and the plan of action for the new DHCA board, appointed by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. The newly appointed board will play a leading role in fulfilling the Dubai ruler's vision for a center of medical excellence that will improve healthcare in the UAE and establish Dubai as an international medical and healthcare hub. And continuing with healthcare, the Dubai Health Authority has prioritized their technological and online initiatives in a bid to advance their services to patients. Utilizing the latest practices in technology, D DHA officials believe this step forward will increase patient safety and aid timeless information transfer by healthcare IT systems across both government and private healthcare institutions. Part of the DHA's strategy will be to link all hospitals across Dubai, which will allow healthcare professionals to access patient information with the aim to improve healthcare delivery. We have a clear strategy in the government of Dubai to, to provide all our services uh, to adopt like electronic services. And this, all the departments in Dubai, they are really reaching a very high, uh, very advanced when it comes to the services. Many health departments have already begun to run their services entirely online, surpassing international benchmarks. Some of these initiatives include paperless prescription and radiology models, which have now been implemented across many healthcare facilities in Dubai. All those major services would come to the diagnosis, helping the doctor to do his mm -hmm. job. Everything is aligned. There is no lost file. There is no lost paper. Mm -hmm. uh, there is no delay of uh, not coming uh, from transportation or something. It is everything online. The most important one, the radiology is. We have no black film any longer. We don't buy it. We don't need it because everything is saved on the system. Mm -hmm. uh, those images. Uh, can be accessed for the doctor from anywhere for the HA, and some of them they have the, I mean, the access from their home. Dubai customs inspectors foiled three attempts to smuggle more than 17 kilograms of NATO crystals yesterday, which were hidden by three Asian passengers coming from their countries via Dubai International Airport. The director of the Passenger Operations Department, Ali Al Maghawi, said that in the first operation, the customs team official became suspicious of one of the passengers and the substance was found in his luggage. In the second operation, a passenger arrived at the inspection area carrying a box containing a micro wave appliance along with his luggage and in the third while the passenger's bag went through the x-ray machine irregularities were observed inside the bag and something with a glue-like appearance could be clearly seen in different areas of the bag the crystal substance contains a methamphetamine which is a stimulant that speeds up the brain and damages its cells it's produced into forms of ice or crystal meth the traffic department of Dubai police are looking to enforce a compulsory order that will ensure backseat passengers wear their seatbelts. According to a local paper, the new law states that it is the driver's responsibility to make sure their passengers are belted up. Otherwise, a fine will be imposed on them. Lieutenant General Engineer Mohammed Saif Al Zafin stated that the proposal comes off the back of the number of accidents that have involved rear passengers that could have avoided injuries or even deaths had they been wearing seatbelts. The setup of a forest or group of trees in a non-forest area, also known as afforestation in the UAE, could be an effective tool to promote diversity and improve soil quality, according to a leading ecology expert. The remarks were made at the 11th community lecture hosted by the Emirates Environmental Group under the title of Artificial Forests in the UAE, Challenges and Threats by Dr. Ali El Keblawi, the Associate Professor of the Department of Applied Biology College of Sciences, 
the University of Sharjah. The, ecol the ecologist stated that the UAE has developed many programs to promote afforestation in large desert areas, amounting to 337,000 hectares, with 120 million trees, and that most of these forests are depending mainly on limited groundwater resources. Some of the solutions he suggested were the replacement of invasive trees with native trees, the reduction of exposed surface of a tree for water evaporation, and releasing of wildlife and endangered animals. And finally this evening, collaborating two different countries in one, in an East meets West fusion collection, Khaled Shafar showcased a unique collection made up of his significant memories of both UAE and Auckland, New Zealand, titled Inspiration Lists. Currently displayed at the Pavilion downtown in Dubai, Shafar the exhibitor has a passion for art and design, which is clearly evident in his exhibition of furniture pieces. Designed and inspired by the pre- and post-modernization of Dubai, Khaled's approach to design encompasses his personal expression of form, movement, emotion and in particular the tale of objects. He believes that as contemporary and quirky as his pieces may be, these pieces in fact all have stories to tell. As a design ethos, uh, of my, or as uh, like a philosophy for my design, I, I depend on a triangle of aspects here. So I do have creativity, practicality, and functionality. And then each in each piece I design, I usually try to combine all of them together. Now I don't restrict myself to the three, all of them, because sometimes that uh, d limit my creativity or it might limit my functionality, depends. Uh, it depends sometimes on the project or the brief or the theme. Uh, I do focus on these elements, but I, I try my best to combine those three in every single piece that I do have. Inspirationalists is an experimentation of materials and design ideas translated into the objectivity of furniture. Although strongly rooted in his Emirati background, Shafar is an ambassador of Emirati culture and when abroad, Khaled aims to enlighten people with the rich heritage and history of the UAE. He wishes to help broaden and encourage the design parameters within the UAE to an international level, with designers that although aesthetically sound and functional, still provide the aesthetics of the art and the object. In my 2012 collection, I do uh, divide the collection in two lines, and, and somehow, which is uh, one is mainly the culturally inspired collection and or line, and the other one is mainly the sporty edgy. When it comes to the culturally inspired, I'm talking here about the culture of the UAE and the region in general, uh, because some of these elements are, uh, let's say, common among the Gulf region or the GCC countries. Uh, for the UAE, I had chosen the palm as an element, and then some of the crafts that. Uh, some of the Emirati women are still doing, such as the weaving, and this is where uh, some of my uh, coffee tables, for example, the palm coffee table, have a top that is done by a handmade uh, palm trees uh, leaves that woven together to create that top on it. And this is where I, I thought, like, if I mix that craft with my creation, I would somehow uh, link my piece to the culture. I would tell that story of that culture. At the same time, I will prevent and preserve such, for me, is, or I consider as a dying craft. And up next, we have the day's business news. So stay with us.